Hello, good evening. It's Monday and it's the start of a brand new month. So we are launching, well, it's the first Monday in February. So we are launching our February monthly make. So yeah, very exciting. It is a little bit different, this one. Well, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's a different idea. Yes, that that's, that's what I mean. It's a different idea. It's a couple of ideas all mixed into one. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite chilly this evening, isn't it? Evening, Maxine. Evening, Mum. It's, it's a chilly one. It is indeed. So, should we get going? I think so. Let's see if I can. There we go. Right. So, this is February's monthly make. It's called the floral panel because, well, that's what it is. I wasn't very creative this evening it, when I named this box. So what do you get in this set? You get this big lovely um, floral which comes in three parts which I'll explain in a little bit and then you get two midi sayings with it as well so these are our little um, three pound stamp sets. So let's have a close look. So you, obviously you get your leaflet with it, you get your, I'm going to start off with this one, your big stamp set as well. So if I turn this over, it doesn't really look much does it, but if I turn it over again you can see it's a really good size, it fits on those um, 5x7s really nicely. It fills a 6 inch card and it looks fab on your A5s as well. Um, so before I go any further, with your stamps you'll notice that obviously you're going to have to layer these up. Yeah, So you've got the solid to go inside that detail and then you've got the leaf to go on it as well. So what I found easier to, easiest to do was to just peel my backing sheet back and then just mark on the back of these three stamps all at the same, either all at the top or all at the bottom, whichever one you want to do. And that way, when you come to use them, you know if this one, when you stamp this one, if the mark's on this side, this one will line up on this side too. Yeah? So line your marks up. And that way, it just makes it a lot quicker when you come to stamp it. Unless you forget which side, you, which way you've stamped it in the first place. But that's... That's the kind of thing I do. Um, so you've got your three bits, you've got your detailed, your solid and your leaves as well. So you can add your colours as you want to go along. And then you've got two sayings, which is just because, I was going to say just believe, um, just because and thinking of you on that stamp set there. And then you get your two little sayings with it as well. This one hasn't got a stamp for some reason. Um, possible, and then you get impossible is, a de is not a declaration, it's a dare, because it is, isn't it? There you go, you get your lovely big possible. It's the same size as our um, amazing and brave and you are so and fearless. So it's the same size as those. Then you just get that additional text with it. And then you get your other saying as well, which is when I want to smile, I know exactly what to do. I close my eyes and think, and I think of you. So there's your two sayings. You get your little leaflet with it and you get your 10% off discount code as well. So that is February's, that one feels really thick for some reason, <laughs> I thought I'd put two in it then, nope just the one. So that is what you get in February's monthly make along with your little discount card. So it doesn't really look much when it's like that does it? So let's have a look at our sample shall we? So I'm going to pop that up there, it's out of my way. I'm going to grab these. They have just gone for a bit of a burton on the floor, so they've got um, dinked corners. So there you go. There's our first one. And you see I've got that lovely panel. It's on a six inch card and I've just chopped the edge off slightly. Um, so six and three quarter base. Uh, sorry, five and three quarter base and then onto a six inch card. And it's just a panel across the top. I've used my solid to colour in my flowers and then I've used the leaves to colour in the leaves on that one and then I put that lovely sentiment on there as well. Feels like you're really far away tonight. Maybe if I... I've been playing with the... there you go, that's a bit better isn't it? There you go. Um, I've been playing with my cameras, can you tell? I've been trying to um, change them up a little bit. So there's that one. I'm going to pop it up there. I've got a tag next for you. Got lots and lots of different things going on here. Got that lovely impossible, it's not a declaration, it's a dare. And I've just popped a little bit of glossy accents in there as well. Um, and then you can see I've just used that gorgeous solid flower in the background just to make a, a background in there. 
and our possible is in there as well and of course I've used a little bit of embossing powder as well on that one. How cool is that? Next up I've got a super super simple there we go just a, a straight A5, uh, a 5 by 7 even not A5, 5 by 7 stamped it and I painted that one using brush out so you can see really really simple but very very elegant this was really hard for me to do and I know that sounds really really deaf, but you know what I'm like with white space inky pinkies the whole shebang I really struggle with that so this was my take my time and spend ages on it and it did it took me ages this one so just coloured in using our brush out. then I've done a bit of fussy cutting on this one I don't know if you can quite see oh that was a bit bad um, so I've cut this one out here I did think I'd try and make a shaker card but then I couldn't find my phone tape but it would make a fabulous shaker card um, so a bit of pattern paper behind it and then I've just used that sentiment again just realised how scoot squiff I've stuck that on there you go and just torn a bit for the top there as well and then oh where's my stamps gone Ooh, I'll show you first so this is a seven inch just because our stamp set is this big doesn't mean we can't extend it yeah and what I've done on the design is made it so you can see already can't you so you've got your flower up there and a flower down there so if you want to extend it you just move it across and stamp it down so you can make this as long as you wanted just by moving it along a little bit yeah so just over stamp and then you end up with something like this so I'm trying to see where my join is it's here and then my other join is underneath my, my ribbon not because I messed it up because that's you know ribbon likes to hide things like that it's just that's where it is if I pull it away you can see you've got your two together so that's what, how I know where I've joined there you go and then again I've just stamped with my solid and then stamped with my um, petals uh, not petals leaves I have one of them Mondays, petals and leaves, my flowers and my leaves, my solid stamp, my coloured one and my green one. That's the, that's the one, isn't it? So those were mine. And we get to go and have a look at Sue's. I've not looked at these yet. So there we go. Oh, Sue's been busy. She must have liked this one. So another five by seven. You can see you've got that, those flowers in the background again, just to create a background. Yep, so just colour it in, keeping with the, your card, and then add them to your backgrounds. She's then stamped it. It was really pretty, actually. Look, she added extra bits. There we go. And then she's added that. When I want to smile, I know exactly what to do. I close my eyes, and I think of you. How cool is that one? Next up, ooh, she's gone a bit panel crazy on this one. So we've got really simple, just stamped. Then we've got another one which has been I'm trying to see. No, she's coloured this one in, I think. She's coloured that one in, but it's still flat. And then this one, she's decoupaged up all those layers of our flower and our leaves. But it's cool, doesn't it? So you've gone from really simple, I love this. Yeah to our next one where she's coloured them in and then finally she's done her decoupage on there and then she's put a just because on the bottom I love that one I do love that one evening Noala but it is, it's that progression isn't it of idea she's done some really cool ideas she's put me to shame she has We've got these gorgeous A4 uh, DL even so you've got your panel down the centre, she's then used our corner, so this one, to create two little corners on here, which just looks stunning. And it, don't worry, don't adjust, this, adjust, adjust your sets, it is in greys and blacks. And then we've just got thinking of you at the bottom, what a beautiful little sympathy card that is. It is, isn't it, just so wonderful. And she's got a little bit of sparkle in there too. Let me do the sparkle thing, there you go, a bit of sparkle going on. But how cool is that? beautiful and just so simple just in greys and blacks and whites I do love that one i'm going to stick with dl's check this one out so she's just stamped a little bit of our panel 
at the bottom here and just teamed it up with that saying I do love this idea just masked it off mask masked yeah I can never say that word put a mask on it so she can stamp the bits she wanted and then again these flowers in the background just to add some texture interest whatever you want to call it but doesn't that look stunning I think you've had fun with this one haven't you mum and then we've got another one so she's used that other saying so possible and um, again she's cut out some of our flowers from our panel and then she's just used the leaves in the background here oh no she's stamped the panel I'll stand corrected she's stamped the panel around the edge to create that gorgeous square really cool idea that isn't it I did wonder how she got the lines on it I thought it was she'd cut it but she hasn't she's stamped the panel how cool is that and then I do like that one every time I look at it is a little bit different and then last one for mum another 5 by 7 she's put the panel at an angle this time and then we've got the thinking of you and just because in the background so we've got thinking of you just because here and then we've got that saying as well I do love that saying I think it's going to be a really really useful one you can see I've got to admit I did do a lot of my flowers either pink or blue but that for a sympathy card or a thinking of you card beautiful love this one it's like those um Ed's got a t-shirt that's got like the evolution of Lego <laughs> it's the same idea isn't it uh, the evolution of stamping or crafting yep yeah. so just because it's a, a smaller panel you can you can extend it onto your sevens and don't forget when you open this peel back this top bit and just mark mark a pen sharpie pen whatever you want to use just peel it back and mark on the back of it so that when you come to line it up it's a lot easier and then put those ones see i went very pink and purpley blue there we go And there's your two little sayings. I knew they were here somewhere. <laughs> your two little sayings, even though I'm missing one. There we go. And then your leaflet. So, should we get crafting? There we go. Right. I've done a bit of chopping up, and I'm not sure if I've done these right or not. Because I've changed my mind about four times what we were going to do tonight. So I'm hoping in my speedy gone out this bit because i did i mean i yeah uh, i literally changed my mind a few minutes before i um sat down which is why i was a little bit late because i decided oh that one's not quite long enough rude it'll do it'll do so i'm just making sure let's just make sure right i can trim that one down perfect Debbie stamps have just arrived. Cool. They are cool. <laughs> no, I was saying, don't know how you come up with it. I know mum's ideas are amazing, aren't they? I do try and surprise everybody. Evening, Susie. So I have, you can tell, I've, I've literally just thrown this one together. There is another, if you like the panel idea, I have got another one that is almost there, ready to go as well but it is it's the same idea you've got three different bits you've got a detailed one you've got a solid one and then another one to go with it as well it's not flowers but i'll, I'll share that with you once it is ready because i just love the idea and i think it, it's yeah you've got me going now <laughs> so i think we're okay with this aren't we so all i've done is i've taken a 5 by 7 and i've chopped it in half on the front yeah I know it's not very often I do a back to my card. Good job, Ed's not with us, because he would be having kittens, me doing a full card. A proper card with a back, I know. So what I'm going to do is I've got my two little strips. So I've cut these to two inch, these to two and a quarter inch width. And that's obviously because it's half an A5. Uh, I keep saying that. It's half a five by seven, it's two and a half. Yep about as technical as I could get tonight with my maths and now I just need to grab my stamp 
and yes i've stuck it on my radiator and i know i shouldn't but i know where they are then i put my monthly mate ones on the radiator i know exactly where they are it's not a radiator it's a heater but you get you know so this one's mine and you can see i've got a blue blob just there if i grab my flowers flowers i've got a blue blob so i know this one goes this way just like that ish close enough and then so i've got my blue blob again and then i've got my blue blob here so that it just all fits together so you've got your three different layers in your stamp and i know layering stamps have been around for well forever haven't they but i was hoping this panel would be quite a snazzy idea right so i'm going to start with my details because you can't do it the other way around you need to start with your details and then put your bits together stamp your other bits yeah i know what i mean so i'm just going to ink it up and obviously if you want to extend it i'll try and show you that as well in a minute but i'll need a big piece of card for that so i'm just going to get this inked up i only want one on my front and one on my back uh, one one for each side there we go i'm getting a bit um stamp happy i'm going to move it um, i'm going to stamp it right in the middle and then i can trim it as and when i need to I'm just going to pop that down there. And the beauty is you've got woggly lines, haven't you? So if you don't quite get it straight, which I haven't because I can tell. Now Alice says she needs to know what to do to get them lined up. Well, there's a few little hints and tips on that one. And I will show you on these. So I'm going to take that out. Pop that one there. So I'm, my blue dot... Is on this side yeah they're not that difficult to line up to be honest but i kept forgetting and you know what i'm like i don't have when it comes to crafting i don't have that much patience i want it to work and i want it to work now and trying to line things up doesn't work for me or trying to figure out which way it goes so i came up with that idea and luckily they fit nicely onto the stamp sheet as well so i didn't have to and move them around on the stamp sheet so they're on the stamp sheet exactly the way you need to stamp them so, I've got my black ones I'm going to need that again in a minute so I'm going to move that off there There we go, and then I'm just going to grab my heat gun, whoops, and I'm going to dry them because I'm going to be putting moisture over the top, I'm then going to just make sure they're dry, because otherwise if I hit this with any moisture now, my black ink's just going to bleed, isn't it? So I just want to give it a quick whiz with my heat gun, and I've not stamped that very equal, I've thought it'll be fine. There you go, and I'm going to grab this one as well. I'll tell you what, I might have cut my card, but I haven't chosen what colours I'm going to do. So, I'm going to pop that there. I'm then going to grab my flowers. So again, I've got my blue dot. So I know I've stamped these blue this way. So when I come to line this one up, I'm going to pop that one there. Now, this one has got a flat edge. It's got a flat edge there. That's got a flat edge. So you basically just pop that there, pop that there, and stamp. Yep. So I'm going to grab a colour. I'm going to go nice and bright. So I want pink or I want blue, whichever one comes out of, actually, 
No. I'm going to say I'll do orange. I've got a green. It's not my usual green, but it will do. And I think I will use that one. No, oh, there's the usual green. It felt funny not having peel paint. I can't tell if I want orange. Oh, look, it's in my hand. There you go. We'll do purple. We'll do that one. So I'm going to ink this one up. To be fair, you don't need to put your blue dots on the back, but for me, it just made it a little bit easier. Because, like I say, I don't always have the patience. So I've just inked it up using the oxide. I'm going to spritz it. You don't have to spritz it. But because I want to go neat and tidy, I'm going to clean it up as well. I'm just going to go around the edge. Because if I tidy up as I go, I've got less chances of putting inky pinkies on there. So again, a blue dot. I'm going to bring that down. I've got my flat edge and my flat edge. So I know that goes there and I know that goes there. And stamp. There we go, so that's one. I'm going to wipe this off. And then we're going to do our second one. Again, I'm just going to spritz that one too. And I'm going to clean it up as I go. I know it's so odd seeing me clean things up, but I am. Because if I don't, that's when I get my inky pinkies. And that's when I make a right mess. So again, I know, blue's that way. Oh, I forgot I zoomed in. <laughs> blue's that way. I want that one and that one. I should really check that you guys can still see what I'm doing. There we go. So again, I've got that flat edge that I'm lining up on. Flat edge down there. There we go. I'm giving that a quick wipe. I'm going to take that one off. I did say I'd show you how to extend it as well, didn't I? Oops. Do that in a minute. Just realised stamp on the wrong way around so I've now got just put it like that that's not a good idea is it now just be careful with this one because you've got a lot of stamp that isn't a stamp so you've got a lot of back in here where it hasn't got stamps so just make sure when you stick it on it's stuck on yep yeah, otherwise it's going to like to curl because you've got all this open space without the um, detail bits so just make sure you make sure it's stuck down if not um, you might end up with bits on the back. I was going to do these all individually, but then I thought that's too much of a faff. Yeah? So you're going to end up with too much of a faff on there if it was all individual stamps. Yeah. So it's one stamp. Just make sure it's stuck down first. There we go. I'm just going to do exactly the same again. So I've inked it up. I'm going to spritz. I'm going to clean. I know, so, so odd. Doing that. There we go. And again, I know I should have probably um, dried this before I did this one. My blue dot, everything's blue this way. And then with this one, it's actually here. So can you see this one at the bottom here has got a flat edge. So I know I'm going to come and snuggle him down into this bottom bit. Just like she says. And it's a bit of a faff this one. Just like that. Okay, you're stamping it at an angle, aren't you? It's not, yeah, it's not straight like the others. I'm a bit out on that one, but it's all right. There we go. So that one. I'm going to do exactly the same with this one, so I'm just going to dry it off. 
because I don't want to put all that wet onto my ink pad. There we go. I'll give it a quick spritz. Knew that was going to happen. <laughs> you can just see them all toppling over. Again, just giving it a quick spritz. Do, do, do. And unfortunately, you do need quite a big stamp base for these because that first one is quite a big stamp. There we go. So again, I'm going to twist it round, bring it down. I'm actually going to bring it a bit lower so I can see what I'm doing this time. You might get that good old headshot. Oops, there we go. I'm trying to be clever and do it all the way up here. Can't see a sausage. Can now. There we go. Right, so we've got our panels. Quite happy with our little panels now. Make sure everything's together. And then I am going to dry them this time. <laughs> if I don't dry them at some point. Have inky pinkies everywhere, and that's not what I wanted. And I remember I need to trim one of these down, don't I? Being booted out of Facebook. Thank you, Facebook. Back in a minute. There we go, and that one. Oops, nearly, nearly, nearly. There we go. I'm back now. I think. Right. I'm not going to do any more on them. I'll do my bits and bobs in a minute with them. That didn't make any sense, did it? It did to me. So I'm going to grab these. And I'm going to pop them on here. Now remember, your um, I'm using craft cards. So one side is all like fibres and the other side is really smooth. So just make sure whichever way you're doing it, whether you want your fibres showing or you want your um, smooth bit showing, Make sure you do it all the same way. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to throw this bit together because I do want to show you how to extend our panel as well. So if you were using an A5 card or an 8 by 8 card and you wanted it to cover the whole thing, you can. Because I had that moment of, you know, that kind of like dilemma. Well, how big do I make it? Do I make it for a six inch card or do I make it for a bigger card? And it was like, hmm. So I made it so you can extend it and then you can choose yourself, can't you? What size card you make? Because you know me, I don't like telling you what to do. I need to give you the tools. So this one is going to come on here, like so, and this will show you how bad my cutting was, because we were going to do a nice little 6 by 6 and then I was going to do a journal page, and then I ended up deciding, no, I want to do this one. I'm just going to pop that down there. And of course, I could have done a bit of distressing around edges and things. There we go. And then these guys are going to come on the front. But I'm going to trim these down a bit. Because they need trimming down. Oh, this one needs trimming down, doesn't it? Where's my pen? Pencil. Anything will do. It doesn't matter which way these go on. They might do if you want them to be. I'll take a 
mit Gino Film. There we go. And obviously you would do your maths. You'd make this look really, really pretty. I'm just giving you an idea. Ooh, don't want to do that with my scissors, do I? And we could do some decoupaging with it. I've just thrown that on the floor as in my bin. Oh. It's all because my bin used to be on this side and now it's on this side. And I keep forgetting. I think what I'm going to do is have one one way and then have that one the other way. Yeah? I'm just going to stick this one on as well. But you can see it really is bish bash bosh, isn't it? Stamp your detail, stamp your flower, stamp your petals. Not your petals, your leaves. I'll get there one day. And then, jobs are good and you're done. Oh, and remember to dry it in between. Stamp your detailed, dry it. Then do your... Um, then do your other one. I always try, I do always try and do them really quick. I do, I try. Oh, I nearly put that on the edge then. You saw me do that. Me. There you go. Noelle gave me a compliment. It, set me, it, made, it made me blush and so I didn't line it up very well. That's it. And whilst I'm messing about with my tape, um, just a reminder, we are at Birmingham on Saturday as long as the snow holds off so we will be at the lovely motorcycle museum on saturday i'm just doing redoing all the boards and packing lots and lots of new stamps so we have lots and lots of new designs coming out i've not stamped cut that very well ever off 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 no 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 Um, so yeah, we've got lots and lots of new words, new sayings. So I've had lots of people asking me about anniversary stuff. Um, some new little £3, well they're not little, some new £3 birthday ones, which are really cool actually. I'm making myself into a sticky mess here now. Saved it. That would have been really funny, wouldn't it, if I'd have ended up leaving that. Having this stuck in my guillotine forever. Would have been a good excuse to get a new guillotine though, wouldn't it? Just put a little bit more tape on there, seeing as though I've just um, last minute took it off. This is why I don't normally stick my cards together live. I think what else we've got as well. So yeah, we're at Birmingham. As long as the snow doesn't come. But saying that, it always snows at this one. It always snows February 1. There you go, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Have I not put that one on yet? They will be on the website, they, they're not there yet. What I've tried to do, a lot of you have been asking for the sizes to be on the website, so what I've tried to do is... Oh, now I've cut it too small, never mind. Um, just don't look too closely. And it'd be right, look. I've made like a little, oh wrong way, a little flipper, like, so cool. Right, one conversation at once, Kim. So, yeah, stay on track. Um, so, on the website, what I've tried to do is, it's all well and good giving you a picture of the packaging and giving you samples that look like this, but this doesn't really give you an idea of how big the stamp is. So what I'm trying to do is for every stamp, there's like a, a one centimetre grid. So it'll give you a better idea of how big the stamp is on the new stuff. I'm not going through all the old stuff, but the new stuff, it will all be there. It just takes a little bit longer to pop it on, but that's okay. We're getting there. We might actually, if I have a chance on Wednesday, we'll probably go through some of the new stuff as well. But it won't be on the website until the weekend-ish. Right, 
that card's like that i'm going to leave that to one side because i want one of my sayings now and i'm going to choose my favorite one which is definitely that when i um need to smile want to smile I think it's just a really nice little saying that one. <laughs> See the peacock, absolutely. Right. I've got a, a scrap of white card. I do me saying that, yeah. I've got a squeaky chair because I've just moved. How rude of me. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Absolutely. They will be on our website just a little bit later in the week. Oops. But we've got like birthday ones there's a couple of um sassy ones coming up as well so they will be in a place on the website that you will um know you're going into if that makes sense so they won't be with the sayings they'll be on their own to one side a bit like the um deck of cards one i did the other day but a bit more sassy So, just done that saying. But yeah, Wednesday I will, because I need to make a couple of samples for the boards as well. So, we'll probably do that Wednesday morning. I was meant to do it last week, but I didn't really get in here much last week. I can't remember why not. Oh, I was. Let's do something else. It just feels like January has absolutely zipped by. I'm just going to trim this down. Again, I'm doing it by eye. You would make this look really neat and really tidy. Because you are a lot neater than me. I'm going to do exactly the same again. I don't know why I moved that around. And the lucky thing about this Birmingham is he's actually done it a week earlier or a week later. It's a week earlier, isn't it? Which means it's a week before school holiday. So it's a Saturday before school holiday. So They'll have Sunday and all of next week to recover from their very early morning next week. Because <laughs> they love coming down, it's just, it takes them a few days to get over being woke up at silly o'clock in the morning. So you can see where I'm going with this now, can't you? thought about it I might even find us a little bit of ribbon just to pop it on there that's going to go on there like so and all I need to do to finish it off is grab a white pen not sure where my doodle is so I'll grab my paint I'm just going to add a few little white bits because even though see it just doesn't it it just makes it look like it would take me forever to do it And then a little bit of glossy accents in those bits as well. That'd look really nice, wouldn't it? Oh, nearly stabbed myself down with my scissors. Not a good look. And if you do come and see us on Saturday and you're feeling really brave, you could always ask Bear about his finger because he's more than happy to show it to people. But it's not for the faint hide. There we go. You know, in you know how he likes to share. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of foam pad. It's ages since I've done a card like this. Oh, it's my, sick, my super sticky ones. Three times I've measured that. I've made sure I've got the right side. Third time's a charm. 
there we go and then I'm just going to pop that right in the middle there you go nice little it looks like it's going to be a gatefold doesn't it but it's not it stands up like that that doesn't really help you guys does it yeah it stands flat yeah you get the idea it stands like that so the other thing I wanted to show you before you run off tonight is see if that's a nice oh look at that piece so this is the full width of an A4 yeah so this is 21 centimeters wide oh I'm getting my stamp back off uh, there we go grab that bit as well and it looks like yeah it doesn't fit it does and it's really really easy to do to extend our little stamps you could do it as a board or around a room if you really want to the world's your oyster that's the saying isn't it but i'm so chuffed with myself when i realized you could just line it up so i'm going to work this way so i'm going to pop it off the edge of this side yep doesn't have to be uh, neat and tidy this side so I've got my blue dot to that side there we go I've just put I went to press that on my table Never mind. there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up again all I'm going to do my blue dot's still going that way because that's the way I lined it up to go and then this one all I'm going to do is come down and I can put this as close or as far away as I want so if I want a bit of a gap there or I come and pop it right in here and because we've got those oh I moved that as I went down and um, because we've got those like bobbly lines jaggedy lines doodle lines that's the word I'm looking for there we go seamless if I'd have um, pressed or inked up that bit there but you've gone from that size to the full 21 centimeters of our piece of card really simple and you can't really see where we've joined it can you you've got to know to look for it yeah so really easy to extend that stamp is what i'm trying to say in a rather round and roundabout way so let me just clean up my table i will give you one quick look through our samples again because I have used that on a couple of mine I think oh come on <laughs> I'm putting everything on top of the same thing here. but it's really easy to just extend that stamp yeah, that's a bit cleaner don't know why my desk is always yellow so that's one we've done tonight that's not the stamp set I wanted there we go So, big stamp set, when you open it, before you do anything else, peel back your acetate and mark a blue dot just to make life a little bit easier for yourself. Yep, a little, well, you might not need it. I do because I think it's just a bit easier to work with. Little dot on the back. If you put it on the back, then you're not going to rub it off. And then you know exactly that that bit lines up with that bit that lines up with that bit. Yep. All you, if all your dots are on the same side, you're going to line it up dead easy. So that's your stamp set. You get your two sayings to go with it. You've got this one, which is when I want to smile, I know exactly what to do. I close my eyes and think of you. And then possible, impossible is not a declaration, it's a dare. You get your little leaflet and your little discount code as well. And I am just going to whiz back through these samples in no particular order. If I do that, then you can actually see what I'm doing. Because I zoomed that camera in. See, look at that. How simple, how elegant. Just beautiful. I do love that one. Bit of fussy cutting. Shaker cards. That's what we need to have a go at next. I need to get some rolls of foam tape. Again, you can see that's where we've extended it. You can't tell unless you know where to look that that's been extended. 
super super easy to do and again you know how to line it all up because you've got your um, blue dot in my case you might choose a pink dot or a green dot any type of dot just put a dot on the back of it or an x or a circle you get the drift anything will work um so i know this is where my blue dot was my backing fits my petal my leaves fit and then i just move it over really simple there we go love that one got our evolution of our panel again great sympathy one there do love that one I didn't, I didn't design it with DLs in mind, but Mum's made it look really cool on the DLs. And again, decoupage. That beautiful square one. We might have a go at that because it does look pretty cool. And then we've got that other one as well. And then snipes. Just throw in that as well. So there you go. That was really quick tonight, wasn't it? I didn't think I was going to be that quick. There you go. So, what do I think of the new colour? I've actually got the new colour coming tomorrow, so I will let you know on Wednesday what I think of the new colour. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, Tim Holtz brought out his final um, ink. So, I want to say 64 colours. Might be wrong. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I know Mr. Roo sat there and went, No, my stand boxes need an extra space in it. Yeah, sorry 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 um so yeah there's a new tim holtz color that's come out it's called scorch timber i will have it to play with tomorrow hopefully it's due tomorrow anyway um and there will be some to go on the website and there will be some photos on saturday as well i'm trying to think what else we got i couldn't get the pencil coins hmm. i really fancy some of the new um, pencil coins he had but didn't have any in stock that's not fair is it so I have to look out for them again. So Wednesday, we've already made our decision. We're going to play with some of our new sayings that we've got. Um, anniversary, weddings, birthdays. I'm trying to think what else was in there. A few little ones for businesses as well. Oh, um, some thinking of you ones. Yeah. Some sassy ones as well. Um yeah it, it, it's it is a brown isn't it and i don't know where it kind of fits in the range because I, I haven't watched tim holt's live yet and um, i'll get around to it at some point so i don't quite know where it fits in the range of browns he's got already so it'll be interesting to find out and it'll be interesting to see how it fits um when we're doing things like our ombres and stuff so i always love a new color because it, it gets me playing with my inks again rediscovering colors um so yeah that will be next week's job i don't think i'll get time to play with it this week um, yeah so wednesday we'll have a play with some new stamps so i do hope you can join me at half past 10 on wednesday morning and then on saturday we are at the motorcycle museum snow wind rain permitting oh and peacocks because they like to get in the way as well in the morning <laughs> so that's it from me today thank you for joining me um, I hope you've enjoyed our launch of our, I was going to say January, it's not, it's our February monthly make, the floral panel. Um, I do love the idea. It is, and like I said before, I have got another one coming soon. Thank you all for your lovely comments. Um, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.